Hey there, it's Seb Fry, the Realtor, and I have another very exciting case study to share with you. It's about a couple of people who owned a house in Saratoga for 20 years or so, and in that time, their kids grew up and they moved away, and they had this big house they didn't really need anymore, and it was two stories, and they wanted to get out of the valley and live closer to the coast, and so they decided to put their home up for sale and they interviewed a number of realtors and i was one of the realtors and and actually i only met with the husband because at that time the the wife was out of town on business so i met with the husband and we spent a couple of hours talking i thought we had a really great connection um and then at the end of our meeting he said well you know uh, my wife is out of town right now um, i'll talk to her and i'll get back to you in a few days a few days later he calls me up and he says hey sam you know, I really like to, uh, you know, our, our meeting and all that. I would like to work with you, but can you do anything on your commission? Can you cut your commission? And I said, no, no, I can't cut my commission. Unfortunately, I cannot do that. I cannot do that to you because I can't give you anything less than 110% of my effort. And I can't do that on like, you know, half my commission or I don't know how much you wanted to have a reduction for. But uh, he said, okay, listen, Seb, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, there's another agent who will reduce their commission and I'm gonna go with that agent. And I said, okay, well, bless you, you know, more power to you, very best of luck with the sale. And I immediately, you know, uh, went on to uh, work on some other projects that I had going on. So, uh, you know, I honestly, I forgot all about him. Uh, and then, um, you know, about three or four weeks later, uh, he calls me up and he says, hey, Seb, are you still interested in listing our house for sale? And I said, uh, yeah, geez, well, well what happened? Uh, well, you know, he had listed his sale, a uh, home for sale with another broker who I guess was charging a lower commission and uh, it didn't work out so well. Incredibly enough, even though the market is blazing hot, it's in Saratoga, right? I mean, like you can't get really any better than the market he was trying to sell it in, except maybe the market we have right now. But uh, anyway, he couldn't get the house sold. You know, it's amazing, right? So like, you know, uh, when you put your home up for sale, you know, if your commission is 0%, if you don't sell your house, it doesn't really matter that your commission was 0% because you haven't actually been able to achieve your goal, which is to sell your home and walk away with the highest amount of money net in your pocket, right? So uh, I couldn't believe it that he couldn't get the home sold. Um, you know, and at that time when he called me, he was out of town because um, they had left uh, their house. They said, listen, we'll, we'll just go visit our kids. We'll be out of town for like a month and then we'll have this whole thing wrapped up while we're away. So um, I said, hey, can you go and see our house? And just like, you know, let us know what you think of, you know, because it had been staged and all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go see your house. So I went over to the house and uh, I was immediately just shocked about a lot of little finer points that they hadn't taken care of, right? Like the trim hadn't been painted. There were Christmas lights from like 10 months ago still on the property. It hadn't been power washed. You know, I could go on and on with a laundry list of things they needed to do to improve the presentation of their home. Uh, but what I did was I took a bunch of photos and I gave them like a list of like 30 items, right? I said, listen, these are the things you need to do in order to really improve the presentation of your home. And they said, okay, Seb, we're all in. They signed a listing agreement. I went out, I brought my photographer, took new photos, did a new video. And then I did something that was a little bit innovative, right? So this is, um, you know, uh, Saratoga, and obviously it's gonna have a fairly high price, but people who are renting homes in Saratoga, a lot of these people are paying four, five, six, seven thousand dollars a month to rent a house so what i did was i looked for uh renters right you can buy lists of of, of names right of people who meet certain criteria like who live within a certain area who don't own a home and are paying so much in, you know in rent so i found that list pretty big list i don't know like 800 people something like that and i sent a postcard to all those people and i said hey listen this is your opportunity you know like here's a great home in saratoga it's relatively affordable uh, because it was on a very small lot it was in a, a subdivision with uh, very very small lots but it was in you know the, the best high school district more or less uh, in silicon valley so i i sent that postcard out to 800 people and i said hey listen uh you know like this is a great opportunity for you you know to come here and see this house for sale but then beyond that i took those 800 people and then i uploaded them to facebook right so facebook you can have like a custom audience where you can, you know, say, okay, I only want to, you know, have an advertisement for this, this whatever house. Go to these 
800 specific people. But 800 specific people, that's too small of a list. So what I did was I made a lookalike audience. You can do that in Facebook. Say, I want people who look just like these 800 people. And I did targeted marketing to those people specifically. Now, it's interesting because Facebook only lets you do like a geographic region, right? They won't let you do any demographic search for people who make a certain amount of money or who drive a certain kind of car or have a certain kind of job or whatever. They won't let you do that kind of marketing for uh, for real estate, for homes for sale. But you can upload your own custom list and then make a, a lookalike audience of people who look just like that. So that's what I did. And that's who I marketed it to. Interestingly enough, you know, these folks said, you know, we don't want any open houses. We only want to have private showings, right? So I said, that's not a problem. And I, I served as the uh, concierge for all those private showings. You know, I, I organized them all. You know, I talked to everybody, made sure we had qualified buyers come through. And wouldn't you know it, even though the property had just been on the market just a few weeks before, for the very same price as I had relisted it for, we got a ton of activity, just a ton. He'd had no offers before when it was listed with this other discount agent. They'd had no offers. We had a ton of activity. And wouldn't you know it, about seven or eight days after being on market, we got three offers. Whereas before in two, like 17 days, I think it was, he was on the market. Zero offers before. When, when I had my crack at it, we got three offers within about seven or eight days. And of course, we were able to get those buyers to compete against each other. And glory be, uh, a couple of days later, after getting these offers, you know, after you know negotiating back and forth, we got him uh, about 10%, I think it was, or close to that, over asking price on his home. And he was very thrilled. Of course, he got the uh, non-contingent offer as is sale. Uh, and of course, the 30-day uh, free rent back. So, uh, you know, 30 days later, again, after the holidays, uh, they were able to move out to their new home and uh, it just couldn't have gone better. And I'm very happy for these people. And yeah, they did have it to, you know, pay, you know, a full commission. But uh, at the end of the day, they got the fantastic result they were looking for. The home sold at the very high end of the price range, which I had suggested uh, to them when I first met with them. And, uh, you know, they couldn't have been happier. So uh, I'm very happy for my clients that they were able to get their home sold at a very good price and move on to the next phase in their lives. Listen, if you have a house that you are looking to sell, just know this. It does actually matter what realtor you choose. Not all realtors are the same. Some realtors are going to have innovative, out-of-the-box ideas. They're going to pay attention to the details. And they're going to work really hard to make sure that the home is sold your way, the way that you want it sold, the way that you want it presented, the way that you want the whole deal handled. Not all agents are going to be like that. So if you are looking to have a result like that, please do me a favor. Uh, give me a call. My phone number is here at the bottom of the screen. It's 408-548-7348. Give me a call and let's talk about what we can do to get you the very best price and terms for your home when you go to sell it this year in 2022. All right. Hey, that's it. Thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I hope to hear from you soon. And uh, hey, one more thing. If you wouldn't mind, just bing, click that subscribe button right there on my YouTube channel and subscribe to my videos. I would really appreciate that as well. And if you have any comments, any, any uh, you know, uh, observations or thoughts, I would uh, be really happy to uh, see those comments here on, uh, on YouTube as well. All right. Thank you so very much for watching. And I will have another video out before too long.